But what impressed me more was the guy that came next, and this guy started to talk about the internet. This a little short, fat, bald guy. And I won't go long with this story, but I'll tell you this. When he started talking, I remember my eyes getting sharp, my ears, like all I could hear was him. Nothing else mattered. And he was, he was talking about this thing called the internet. He was like, man, I'm making a killing. And he showed this picture up on the big screen of a horse. And under that horse, he said, before he put this up, he said, you see this website? He said, this website right here, I make $1,500 a month on it. I can do that. Everyone in this room can do that. Okay. For whatever reason, I believe the guy. So in my mind, I'm like, ah, ah, I gotta go home and buy books. I gotta. So I bought his thing. It was a total ripoff, whatever that. Yeah, I don't. Honestly, it was just web hosting. Ooh, I gotta go somewhere else. It was just like web hosting, but it got me into the game. It was, it was a magical moment. I went home and I bought this book called Google Cash, right? And Google Cash was all about Google AdWords. Can you guys hear me? Or is it like echoing? You guys are good. Okay. I bought this book called Google Cash. And it was about pay-per-click marketing with Google AdWords and affiliate programs. I was like addicted. Like I remember I would stay up late at night and I'd put all these keywords in and I'd match them up with these affiliate programs. And then, look, I didn't win. I didn't make, I didn't make very much money. But every now and then someone would buy something. And it was magic. It was awesome. And that's the first lesson. Traffic is magic. Write that down. Because it's amazing when someone that you don't know from some other place in the world buy something from you just because you directed them to what they wanted. There's money, there's value in that. So that's the first lesson. I forgot it quickly because as soon as I found the home business industry, I let go of actually driving traffic myself and I started to just buy and call leads all day long. You know, I spent like seven months getting rejected and it just was not a fun experience for me. I mean, I had to go through it to be here. Um, I spent this money on a credit card I didn't have, and I just wasn't good at calling leads. It wasn't until I got myself out of that, and it took me longer than I should have because I felt this allegiance to my, my sponsor. This guy stuck it out, but really, this guy was just like making money on me, right? Like, go get leads over here. You're my downline. You can do it. So every month, he was making money on me. So it took me longer than I should have gotten out of it because of that. But when I did, I figured out how I wanted to do this whole thing, and I said, I want to do it online. So I got myself in a business that was aligned with how I wanted to build. Now, remember, I went off to work one day after I bought this little $30 ad. Seven months, $7,000, trying to get really good at prospecting and closing people on the phone. Then I place this little $30 ad, forget about it. Then I come home, and I'm like checking my email, and I'm like, Wait, what's that? And you know, I get that, like, my hands start to get a little sweaty. And then get like, oh, man, this is, no, no, no. So I like, go like that a little bit. And I get up, because I don't believe it. I get up. I come back down. I'm like, no, is this for real? I look at my email. There's seven people that had just joined my business. I was away at work, because I spent $30 on this little ad. But not just that. Here's what happened. Out of those seven people, it actually turned out to be four, 14 people. But... One guy named uh, Trent, Trent Brownrig, he went, he went on to recruit 84 people into the business, and he brought in a guy named Jason. Jason brought in over 100 people. Another guy named Warren from New Zealand, he brought in about 45 people, a lady named Isabel. I think she recruited about 25 people, and her whole team was about 150 people. So this one little $30 ad, brought me literally hundreds of people into our team. So the right traffic leads to effortless recruiting. So write that down. So I'm in the game. I'm starting to win. This, this is awesome. Let me check my time real quick. All right. There we go. So I'm in the game. I'm trying to win, right? Um, we're, our team's starting to grow. I create this little distributor guide. And people in the company are like, oh, that's an awesome book. Because I gave it away to them so that uh, they could learn the stuff that I was doing. And I didn't have to teach them one-on-one. And the CEO of the company said, man, that's really good. You should turn that into a product. I learned how to turn it into a product. Then I put it out there on the pay-per-click uh, in Google. And I remember the first day, some guy I didn't know gave me $100. So I learned that traffic plus your own product equals 
money. It's pretty awesome. Traffic plus your own product equals money. So we're moving along. I'm learning all this stuff. I'm making a couple thousand bucks per month. It's pretty cool. Not quite making more than uh, I was making at my job yet, but yeah, I was happy, happy. I ended up going to my very first internet marketing seminar. How many of you guys, and I asked a lot of people this question, is this your very first seminar? Awesome, awesome. Because when I was at my very first seminar, I saw this guy John get up on stage, and he talked about email marketing. And if, have you ever had that experience where someone's talking and they're talking like directly to you? Yeah. Well, that's what I felt like. I mean, every, I was sitting there, like I thought my paper was gonna catch on fire. I was taking so many notes. And I was like, man, this guy's awesome. He, he was talking about how you are taking his business from zero to about $77,000 in I think 25 months or so. I might be off on that, so John, please forgive me. Um, but I was so into what he was talking about, I knew I needed to learn more from this guy. I absolutely needed to know more about him. So, at the end, he gave this opportunity to come and get a full day of cons consultation for $10,000. What do you guys think I did? No. I didn't, man. I, I, I failed myself at that moment. I was freaked out. It was too much money for me. I let him get off stage, and I felt so embarrassed. I was like, the feeling inside was me, of me was like, I'm a, I must be a fraud. I must not care about my business because I didn't invest enough. Why did I let this happen? Well, he's out in the hall and I see myself having the second chance and I freak out again. I don't go up to him. I don't say, John, can you let me in? And I, I leave that seminar with a, an amazing amount of information. But this feeling of like, man, do I love myself enough to do this? because I just, I didn't take advantage. I didn't have the money, but who cares, right? I should have just done it. A month passes, when you know the stuff he teaches me about email doubles my income, took me to, let's say, uh, uh, maybe four or $5,000 to eight, and then from eight to 16, and then got to a point where I kind of petered off around 32,000 bucks, about two, month, two or three months later, and then I got on his list, right? Because like, this guy's awesome. I got to like see what he's doing. And by the way, that's where the king of never calling his single lead came from, if you guys are wondering about that. He calls himself the king of let him come to you because he teaches guys how to get dates with girls and all that sort of stuff. Um, and he, he makes this offer again. And even then it was hard for me to do it because you can't call anyone. I mean, you're, you're like, I'm going to give this guy $10,000 for a day. I mean, I can't call my dad. He's going to say you're crazy, right? Can't call any of your friends because what are you doing? You're making really bad decisions. The only way I got over it was to sit there in my car with my phone, handshaking, credit card in hand, and go through all the reasons why I deserved it over and over and over again until I could get enough momentum to say yes. Finally did. Flew down to Austin. It was the Austin, Texas. It was the most amazing experience I've ever been through because I got to see for the first time ever behind behind what a million dollar business looks like. See, I went down there with the question of like, I wonder where this guy's getting all his traffic. And I thought it was from one place, but this guy opened up the back end of his business and showed me what was going on. What was really going on is he was getting 15 leads from here, 30 leads from over here, 45 leads from there, 12 leads from here, hundreds of different places. I said, John, why? He's like, well, stability, man. I'm in this for a long time. I want to make sure that my business stands the test of time. So from him, I learned multiple streams of traffic leads to stability. So write that down. The business continues on. And I remember, I must have been listening to a, a CD or something. I remember I, I heard this idea of a co-op. Because our, our team was growing. We were in the hundreds. And someone said co-op, but it was like old school co-op, direct mail co-op. And I was like, well, I need to do a co-op with my team because there's all these places I want to advertise, but I can't get into them because I don't have the money to devote to just that part of the business. But I know every one of my team wants to do the same thing. I want you guys to write this down because if you want to go fast, fast like Ricky Bobby fast. Do you guys like Talladega Nights? Start a co-op in your business, man. Everybody wants to be a part of it. First month, we got like 3,000 bucks, and we went to 10,000 bucks, and we like kind of leveled off at 14,000 bucks for a year. And that year took me from like a few hundred people to like 3,500 to 4,000 people. 
man, that was freaking awesome. So the traffic lesson is lots of traffic buys you speed. Leverage traffic buys you speed, if we want to say it better. Because we're not sometimes resourceful enough. We say, well, I don't have the money in my pocket, so how can I go and get it? All I was being was resourceful there, right? I want this traffic. I can't do it alone. How can we all do it together? Be more resourceful. Your team wants traffic too. Okay. So let's say we were hovering around forty, fifty thousand dollars at this point. I'm at another seminar again, just like this one. And this guy named Carlos gets up on stage and he's like just the traffic don. This guy gets up on stage and he's getting like billions of impressions out there on the internet every single month. And he's making, how much do you think this guy's making every single month online from that traffic? Guess, give me a couple guesses. 100 grand? Who said million? He's closest, $5 million a month. I said to myself, well, I'm not making $5 million a month right now. Maybe I can learn something from this guy. So this guy, Carlos, at the end says, you know, guys, we've been through a lot to do what we do, uh, but we'll teach it to you for $25,000. Now I've learned the skill of, of kind of biting the bullet and doing it. So I was kind of like, I a lot of money, but I'm not making $5 million a month. I got to say yes. So I go down, I, I hand him that $25,000, go down to Tampa, and immediately, within the next eight months, I have my first million dollar plus year. And I think I have some of those stats, so I'm not moving super fast here with this. Yeah. Clap it up, clap it up. So mentorship, traffic. The lesson I want you guys to get off of this is uh, lots of traffic make you lots and lots of money, millions of dollars. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk you guys through the steps that Carlos gave me, the, the $25,000 process to get in lots of traffic. It, it was the opposite way that I thought about it. And I've kind of given you guys a little bit of it. We're going to walk through it. Okay. So uh, there's me and my, my favorite t-shirt. So all this stuff has let me have fun. Me and Kim hanging out in St. Lucia. That's St. Lucia, right? Yeah. That's us in Greece. When I was in Greece, so I learned all this stuff from, from Carlos. Let me see if I have this picture. Yeah, this picture right here. This is uh, after I learned all this stuff from this guy, and I put it into play in our little industry, right? This is my old home business opportunity, Success University. That's my little website. The blue line is my website, Recruit Like Crazy. Success University is a business with tens of thousands of reps. I'm one guy sitting in a little office. That's traffic. My little website's getting twice the amount of traffic as my home business with tens of thousands of reps. One person can get a lot of traffic, right? All right. Thousands of leads per day. So this is like, you know, 10,000 leads. Who wouldn't mind getting 10,000 leads this week, right? 9,000. That's 9,000. But, you know, 9, 10, right? Not bad. Checks, all that sort of good stuff. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't like checks. So, yeah, that's it. That's like the merchant account where we first hit the million dollars. It was such a surreal time for me because I was like, man, I put over a million dollars through a merchant account? Me? All right. I think I'm, it's pretty cool. All right. So, lots of people out there, like I said, are absolutely traffic starved. What I'm going to go through with you in a minute is a $25,000 lesson I learned from this guy, Carlos, for massive traffic. Um, most people don't know, and this kind of messed up here, so I apologize. Most people don't know where to spend their marketing budget effectively. You guys won't have that problem. Um, with, and other people are facing you know, problems like they're not able to recruit as many people as they like to, or if they're in a high tier business, they're not pulling as many sales as they used to like to, as they'd like to. If they have a product or an information business, they're not making as much as they used to. And I don't want that to happen to you guys, especially if you're just getting started. I want you guys to be on the right sort of a track. Um, they fear, people fear their business won't survive. They don't know what, how to fix this. And it, there really is a traffic problem. And I'll do, talk to you guys about that in a second. Um, you know, people are frustrated. They don't, know, they, don't, they don't know where to find this permanent traffic fix. So, exciting story, right? Well, it's not over. So, what, what I do next is, I decide to build this new website called Maximum Leverage. It's just this little idea in my head. 
I want to teach people how to create a lot of leverage, because if you create a lot of leverage, you can change your life. So we take this little website from zero to about $120,000 in five months, and then I go to, and then I go to some seminar in, in Maui. I'm like, I like Maui. I'm going to move to Maui. Just built a business from zero to $120,000 per month. I should move to Maui. So call Kim. She's like, what? And then finally, trick her into going, and we, we move off to Maui. And the first couple of months are absolutely awesome. I remember, but I remember when things kind of change um, very vividly. We had just come off like an $80,000 a week, a good sales week. We had just done a promo. And I remember I went home, and I, 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 I looked at my email again, and I got this email. And it, who here has seen like Indiana Jones, All right? Like the, the, the last crusade, or which is the one where the guy like pulls the guy's heart out of his chest? You guys have seen that? Temple of Doom. I, I saw this email, and that's what it felt like. I mean, I went numb, couldn't really think. And I looked in the email, what it said was, you know, your Google AdWords account, it's been banned. For the next few months, I kind of like pretended it didn't happen, but sales started to drop because I had made a mistake, which was to d depend too much on one stream of traffic. About 50% of my traffic at that time was from Google. So for the first time in my life, I, I never knew what it felt like to be depressed, but this pushed me into a state of depression. I don't know if you guys would believe it or not, but living in the most beautiful place in the world, in Maui, the last like three or four months, I was in a, in a deep depression. I was, every day I would wake up because my business was about to go into bankruptcy. I would go, I'd wake up panicked, heart just racing. Oh, you, this is gonna happen, your dreams are being stolen. All these thoughts going through my head. And so what I had learned to do to cope with that was, you know, smoke a pack of Newports every day. So I would go to the corner store and buy, I got, like, I got myself all addicted to cigarettes and I would just drink all day, sit around and get fat. And so it went on. And the reason it went on for so long for me was because I'm supposed to be the traffic guy, right? Everyone knows me as the traffic guy. And this was a problem I couldn't fix. I called all my friends. No one had a solution for this. If you were on my list during that period, you'd probably notice I didn't send out any emails for a little period of time, because I was going through some weird personal stuff. And it was right at the point where, probably a month or two more, I would have had to like close down that business and just kind of declare bankruptcy on maximum leverage. And I remember, I drove, I was driving out to get like my pack of Newports. I would just drink all day, sit on the couch, get fat, and smoke. That's what I did. Was, I never thought, but that's what I did. But I remember this one day, I was driving to go and do this daily routine of fear and panic, and when I had an epiphany. I was trying to look at this traffic problem the same way that everyone else was, like there was a traffic Santa Claus, like, man, Google's gone, something else is gonna save us. And I realized that the only person that can save our industry, see, the problem we have is we let outside forces control us. Oh, Google, Google's awesome, let's get all the traffic. Facebook's awesome, let's get all the Facebook traffic. But what happens when it goes away? Our businesses tank. We as an industry let outside forces affect us too much. And what I realized was we have to dig deep down and fix this ourselves. And I thought back, and I remember I was outside, I was pacing, I was so excited. This took me a year to, to get all this stuff right. But I was, this is when the idea was born. I was outside, I was pacing back and forth, and I said, I got it, I got it, I got it. Because I, I thought back to when I was doing those co-ops. How did I fix my business? How, I mean, how did I grow my big team? We all pitched in together. We all did it together. We all went out and got traffic together. We brought it back home. And we all thrive because of it. That's what this online traffic revolution idea is, except for much bigger, not just my business or your business. We all do it together. See, when we do that, when we all go out and get the traffic together, what happens is we control it. If I'm setting up an ad deal, let's say you own a website and you've got banner placements that really convert well, right? I'm making money. And I say, hey, I want to buy out all your banner ads. What are you going to say? You say, okay, right? 
but you probably give me a discount, right? You probably say, all right, what kind of deal you want to work out? So then I do that with you and you and you and you and you. And before long, we have a battery of websites where we're buying up traffic wholesale style and delivering it to the industry and passing along the savings. I can't do that alone, but I think if we all pitch in together, we can create stable traffic that converts and makes all of us money working together. It's revolutionary in that I've never seen it done before, but I think it's gonna be a game changer. So that's what this whole traffic revolution idea is. Do you guys get it? Does that make sense? Awesome. This is bigger than me, man, it's the online traffic revolution.